Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Batista family vlog on our wild camping trip adventure. I've just woken up, it's like about half past nine-ish. Had the most wonderful night's sleep last night. So warm, so chilled, very little wind, it was just a really nice, nice, nice sleep. I've just opened up the tent with the fly nets still up, the bug protector. And seriously guys, waking up to this view is just breathtaking. You could not, honestly, you could not put a price on it. That's how good it is. So I haven't yet had a cup of tea, coffee or even brushed my teeth, I got ready. And didn't fall asleep in my hair, I've just put that on because my hair is a mess. Which you probably see quite a lot of on these wild camping vlogs that we're going to be doing. Um, but I'll just turn you guys around, show you guys what I'm waking up to. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Check out that view beef fam and that is with no zoom at all it's just absolutely beautiful it's absolutely beautiful beef fam i'm the only one awake i think i've just woken stephanie up a little bit there she's just moved so i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on when the rest of the kids are awake and stephanie's woken up um stephanie doesn't like being on the vlog with no makeup on and obviously she hates being recorded first thing in the morning but I think that's just a woman's thing I think every woman feels like that uh, but us men we don't look, don't mind looking a mess once in a while <laughs> um, well some men don't but yeah guys it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm gonna hit some coffee on the go and I'm gonna get heading on the road morning beef fam so I know Sean's already started the vlog this morning but I just wanted to come on and say hi and good morning to you all. Oh, Sean is currently outside and he's just making us breakfast all this morning. We're going to have some sausages, probably some toast because we've got my toast little machine out there as well. Um, Dion and Sean know they're struggling to wake up guys. They are always the last ones. Wow, it's bright out here. That's bad. They are always the last ones to get up when we go camping. It's crazy guys. Um, so yeah, they're still asleep. Sean's doing breakfast. I'm just starting to get a move on with taking the things out of the tent and things so we can start packing up to get on the road because we've got a long journey. I think it's about three and a half hours. Four hours and 40 minutes. Four hours and 40 minutes until we're the next destination. So yeah, we've got a long day ahead of us, another long trip. Um, but we've got another glorious day. I mean, we're, the weather's been on our side these last couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's, been, it's been lovely. Anyways, I'm going to pass you to Sean and let Sean show you, what, show you what he is doing. And if you guys have any like little um, camping tips or tricks, let us know in the comments down below as well. So we're just cooking our sausages in this little pan. You can get free in here. Um, you can also put like the lid on. I think I showed you guys in a previous video. And we're using these little wooden spoons that Stephanie picked up from Morrison's. And they're great because it saves on the dishes and you just throw them away. I think they're like 150 or 250 or something. But really good. But them two look done, so I'm going to turn that a little bit more and put the other lot in. Oh, a bit of wild hair cutting going on here in the wild camping scene. Are you just throwing out sideburns, aren't you? Yeah, it's getting a bit long, guys. <laughs> I brought this kind of me cut my hair on my face and step me I'll just cut the sideburns in. Look how long Kit Logan's is. Yeah. Mom, and I'm doing Logan now. <laughs> Just finished up putting the tent away in the car, it's all done. Look, you've got like a little sandy beach, sandy, a rocky beach down there as well. And I think this is not a lock, I think this is a sea because there was jellyfish further down when me and Logan went down this morning for a little walk. So, yeah, I thought it was a lock when we turned up, but it's not, it's a sea, guys. Uh, so, we're just having a little walk around and saying <laughs> bye to a little campsite. I mean, come on, guys, look. Camped on like this little island. Amazing. Yeah, so as Stephanie said, this place is absolutely beautiful. Another little gem to put on our camping map. Probably start vlogging this way because the wind's coming in from the lock or the sea. Um, yeah, another little gem to put on our camping map. So we've got about three campsites now for wild camping up in Scotland. We're going to keep building up our collection. And yeah, we're going to have a really good collection by the end of it. I'm sure we will. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So 
Today's time we have been on the road for about an hour and a half and we have just passed the cutest guys, the cutest little gift shop. Now because we're in Scotland we need to buy something to help us remember our Scotland trip, isn't that right Dion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're thinking about getting like a Scottish flag sticker or something for the car or like a little teddy or something. I don't know, we're gonna have a look in. We just like something to remember Scotland by. Yeah. That yeah. Would be amazing. This is a little in here as well and then we've got the little shop right here. Guys, I love that saying, in Scotland there is no such thing as bad weather, only the wrong clothing. So this gift shop has quite a lot. It's got an outdoor store over there, a calf just over there, and then a goodies gift store up here. And they also have an alcohol section there. So yeah, might give that a try in a moment. We've got some really, really interesting cups here as well. That one would be so good for Sean, Scottish whiskey. And then we've got like history of Scotland as well. And then we've got like weather for Scotland. What about, about the different kilts, the different kilts for different places? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Livingstone. They're so cool, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, different areas. Are you going to get one, are you? I'm going to get one. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> suit you. Yeah, it suits you. Only for when I come to Scotland, and I can wear it every time I come. <laughs> you should get a matching scarf. Yeah, the scarves are really nice as well. I don't know why I like the red one, I think the red one looks really good. We've got blue, green, and everything. Oh, there's a cap as well. Oh, get, get the, the cap. cap, yeah, get the cap, will be nicer. Cap, yeah. OMG, guys, how cute are these? Look at them all. I love this one, and it's so warm as well. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get woolies, aren't we? Oh, look oh that looks this. sick, that. Scotland! Yay! I love it. Okay, what do you think? This hat, Stephanie, or this one? What do you think? I quite like this one for some reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like the gold. The gold looks nice. Yeah, I do like that one actually. Yeah, we'll go for yeah. that one for you. So they've got lots of books and maps, whiskey map, and they've also got film locations. What a great little stop that is. We'll show you guys what we've got when we're back in the car. So we've just got back in the car from visiting the Welly shop. I'm going to show the children what we got and you guys as well because I actually haven't shown you because the battery died in the shop. So we got them some rock. Who doesn't love going on holiday and getting rock from like the beach? But well, it's nice that they've got it in a Scotland's gift shop as well, isn't it? It is really, really nice. So I got the children some rock and then Sean bought this, which is the whiskey map. Scotland, so it shows you all like the whiskies, all distilleries. The distilleries, yeah, all the, all the whiskey distilleries in Scotland. I was like, wow, I've got to get that. Uh, so I might do like a little tour of Scotland to all the whiskey distilleries. That would be so fun to do, and like opens up to be like this big map, and then we can walk them off and like plan a little trip and like a red pen and things yeah. like that. I get like excited about things like that, guys. And then I bought this book, which tells you all about like places in Scotland that have been. Put in movies, I suppose, or um, oh, yeah, inspired it, movies. It, it it's, it's educational, it's an educational book as well for the kids. So I was just going to say, like Sean said, the Harry Potter bridge that was in Harry Potter um, was filmed in Scotland and we were going to go there, but we actually didn't have time to do it on this trip. But we will definitely do it again. Um, but I just thought it would be really, really good for me and Sean, but also the children as well, to teach them like a little bit more about Scotland. Because I don't know, guys, I don't know if everybody feels like this, but every time, but since I've been to Scotland, I want to know more about it. So, yeah, like, we, we, we already know quite a bit though, don't we? Because of Hadrian's Wall and stuff like that, yeah, and Mary Queen of Scots, because we learned that all at the castle when we were there two years ago, and we then, went to Edinburgh, and then the mountains were, yeah, I wear like, we're not that educated on the west side of Scotland that much. Like, I know that, like, um, in the Highlands, they have different glens, and I think I was like saying I wasn't too sure on the kilts, but I think the kilts belong to different different glens in the um, highlands. So we're not educated on like the west side of Scotland, and that's what we want to learn, don't we? Yeah. Because we're both worried, know what it's like, what the um, east side's all about, because we live in the northeast of England. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm trying to concentrate on the sword, darling, because it's getting a bit yeah, let you congested up here. It's great for the children's education as well, as well as making sure because you're never too old to learn something new. So that was six pounds, so I bought that. And then I bought Sean a little secret as well, which Me? I'm not gonna, yeah, you. What would you get us? Well, I'm not gonna tell you guys. I might tell you guys like when we're back at home or something. I was a gift for, like... I bought a gift for you, yeah. Interesting, I'm wondering what it is now. 
Because I seen you at the supplier over there by that whiskey shop, so I'm thinking that might be a whiskey. Yeah. Is that whiskey, is it? No. Oh. Uh, yeah, it is whiskey. So it's not whiskey? It is whiskey. But like, you're like, oh, yes. Because like, mm. uh, it's different whiskey. <laughs> Something different about this whiskey. I've never had it before. No, you've never had this whiskey before. Alright, now you've got us wanting it now. Where is it? In the boot, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's in the boot. But I'll probably show you guys that later or maybe when we get back home. Um, a little surprise for Sean when we get back home. But I love going to little gift shops like that and just like get, find something that's going to remind you of where you've actually been. And what do you mean about these roads, darling? Oh, really bendy, yeah. Yeah, flipping tight as anything as well. Sean, there's yours. Yeah. You're welcome, Dion. There's yours. This is legit my favourite about like the gift shops this week. What the rock? You love yeah, rock, do you? Absolutely amazing, definitely on your holiday. And then Logan and Caleb. Caleb's just making his own little uh, den back in the car there. He's put a pillow in front of him and everything. He's getting all nice and cosy in there. VIP treatment in the back there, Caleb. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've got you, Rock and Caleb, as well, darling. So while Sean's driving, I get the pleasure of reading. <laughs> Thanks, Sean, for driving. Welcome. <laughs> um, but I'm reading the book that we got, and I, I've just learned that Duntar Castle, which was the castle that we went to two years ago, is it two years ago? Three yeah, years ago? Yeah, I would say about two years ago now. About yeah. two years ago. Um, that castle that Sean took some amazing shots of the drone was inspired for the movie Brave, the Disney wow. movie Brave, it's yeah. Mad. You know, you always know the Disney movie Brave, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it yeah. too. Once. It's amazing. I love it. It's because they've got the Scottish accent, haven't they? And of course, she's got the lovely like red ginger hair. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. Yeah, I look at my hair. It's really good too. So you know the movie that we, not the movie, so you know the castle that we went to in Montrose, we stayed yeah. at Easter, we stayed in this uh, lovely apartment and we went to the castle afterwards and we done yeah. the little, actually we done the little, well that went really really bright, we actually done the Easter egg hunt there as well. Oh yeah we did. Yeah, so that movie Brave was inspired by that castle. Really? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that really interesting? Yeah. And I've also learned that Scotland has over 300,000 locks. Now that wow. is a lot of locks. 300,000 locks? 300,000 locks. Wow. Is a lock, is it, can a lock be salt water though, or is it all to be fresh? I think some can be salt water, but this is fresh water, so 300,000 wow. fresh water locks. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know if you, right? I don't know if some locks can be say. I don't yeah, know. Salty, Maybe I don't somebody know. should comment that if they know that's another question. Yeah. Because we thought that we were like next to the sea because there's jellyfish and stuff in it. But I don't know.